welcome to your floor and strap stretch class. Today we're going to be using a contract relax method that works directly with the nervous system, resetting the proprioceptors in our muscles that tell the muscle how long or how short to be. Contract relax work operates like a kind of graded exposure therapy, slowly teaching the brain that it is safe in unfamiliar and previously uncomfortable positions. Let's try it out today. Uh, we're gonna begin with a strap. Um, your strap can be uh, cinched or uncinched, uh, either way is fine. We're going to begin with the strap overhead. You want to let the strap start to descend behind your head until you feel a little bit of a stretch in the upper body and anterior shoulder. Inhale and pull the strap apart, engaging your upper body and your shoulders. Exhale, let your arms relax a little further back. You might play with the level of your hands. They can be wide or they can be closer in. Inhale, pull that strap apart. Exhale, relax it back. One more time. Inhale, pull and engage, contract. Exhale, relax the shoulders back. Each time you should be feeling a little more range of motion, a little more availability. Now bend your elbows, and we're gonna do the same thing here that as the, the strap des descends behind my head now. Inhale, pull that strap apart. Exhale, relax that strap back a little bit further, bending the elbows a little more deeply. At your own pace, inhale and exhale. You might even play with a little bit of cre uh, creative, curious movement here. Sometimes I'll do a little bit of a twist as I inhale, and then on the exhale, I'll look up just a little bit further. Whatever you do on one side, just be sure to do it on the other side as well. And on your next exhale, return to center. Now we're going to cinch our strap. And I want to cinch it to about the size of a dinner plate. Um, let's see. Uh, this might be a little too short. We'll see how it works. I think this will be good. All right. So now I'm going to strap my arms just above the elbow. And my goal is to put my, head, my hands behind my head and then to arc my elbows up to the place where the ceiling meets the wall. So now on the inhale, I'm going to press my head back into my hands and my hands into my head. And then I'm going to widen my elbows from right to left. On the exhale, I'm going to arc my whole body over to the right side. Inhale, I push my head back into my hands and I widen through my elbows, spreading the clavicles even. Exhale, arc, letting your right ear drop all the way to the right shoulder. One more time, inhale, head back into hands and exhale all the way over to the right. Slowly return to center, and we're gonna arc over to the left now. Inhale, press head back into hands. Exhale, arc over to the left. Inhale, press back, wide mouth. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. One more time, inhale, press head back into hands, widen through those elbows, get broad in your back even, and exhale. slowly all the way back to center. Unstrap your arms, and we're gonna to come to a wide angle seat now with figure four legs. So here I'm going to put my block and my ball aside. Always be sure to put your ball in some sort of bowl or a little box here, otherwise it will roll away. <laughs> uh, so tuck your ball away somewhere safe. We're gonna use it in just a moment. So I'm in a figure four stance right now with my the sole of my foot tucked in into the into my upper thigh. And with my right hand, I'm gonna clasp my left thigh, and I'm going to actually turn my whole body now toward the left-hand side. I'm gonna use my hand to push my thigh away to intensify this spiral toward the left. Now my left arm is going to come behind my head here, and I'm gonna wrap my elbow toward my forehead. Inhale, press head back into hand, twist and spin open with the right hand, and exhale, arc your body all the way over toward the right. Inhale, press head into hand, twist open, and exhale a little bit further. One more time, inhale, contract, exhale, relax. Mm. Slowly return to center. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Pull your right foot in, left foot out. 
Clasp your thigh with your left hand. Right hand comes behind the head. Wrap that forehead, uh, wrap that elbow toward the forehead. Turn your body all the way to the right. And when you can no longer spiral any further, press head back into hands, twist open, inhale, and exhale. Arc your body over to the left. Keep looking up underneath that elbow, spiraling your heart up to the ceiling. Inhale, press back, widen out, spiral open. Exhale, relax a little bit further. One more time at your own pace. Inhale, 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 and exhale, exhale, exhale. Slowly back to center. All right, now we're going to do uh, a neck stretch. This strap is actually a little bit too short for this pose. So uh, at most other straps are much, much longer than this. I don't know even where this one came from, but at least I can give you an idea of how this one might look with a longer strap. So I'm going to double cinch it all the way at its end here. Oops. And you want to, for most straps, you'll probably leave about a foot uh, of extra strap after the cinch. Uh, but for this one, since it's a, a shorty, uh, we're gonna strap it right at its very, very end. But you want it so it doesn't go anywhere, double cinched. All right, now I'm gonna wrap this around my waist. And I'm gonna rest all the way back uh, with this actually um, around my head. So I'm aiming for the back of my head right at about ear level. Once I've gotten that, I'm going to put my, the arches of my feet into the strap. And when you're working with a longer strap, you'll probably be able to extend your feet all the way out. The goal here is to get your, your shoulders, your upper body, all the way flush with the mat. The only thing that's lifting is your head. And then once you get here, you tuck your chin a little bit. I'm gonna keep a hold of the strap to keep it in place. Um, and on my inhale, I'm going to press my head back toward the mat into the strap, resisting with my feet. So it's not, my feet aren't allowing my head to come all the way back to the mat. And on the exhale, I'm going to tuck my chin to my chest and naturally allow my feet to pull my head forward into a little bit of flexion. I feel a stretch now in my suboccipitals, uh, which are the, the small muscles at the base of the occiput. Inhale back into your neck as you press your head back into the mat. Exhale, let your feet naturally use gravity to flex your chin towards your chest. Oh, this feels like a great stretch here. Inhale and exhale. Like you're a, a human teeter totter. <laughs> Sometimes it feels nice just to hang out here too, and you can use a kind of braided exposure therapy of stillness just allowing gravity to slowly expose you to, to deeper and deeper levels of neck flexion, stretching all of those suboccipital muscles that tend to get very tight when we are working on computers or laptops or uh, cell phones. When you're ready, unstrap your feet and we're gonna come up to a seat. So now we're gonna do a reclined Padangustasana series. So we're going to unstrap uh, uncinch our strap completely. Rest back on your back. Strap your right foot underneath the toes at the ball mounds of your toes. Hold both sides of the strap in your right hand. Your left hand can relax by your side. Now untuck your pelvis so that the tailbone is descending first. Now you have a little bit of space between your lower back and the mat. This is restoring your lumbar curve. It'll actually make it a little more difficult to stretch your leg up toward the ceiling in this position. That's good. That's how you know you're doing it right. Extend your left leg out long now. And you're going to just find a point of comfortable resistance where the leg just doesn't like to, to move any further. Inhale, kick your heel toward the floor, activating that hamstring. Exhale, relax, and pull the toes back toward the face with the strap. Inhale, kick heel down toward the mat, nice long inhale. 
Exhale, slowly pull toes back toward the face. You'll notice each time there's a little bit more length available for you. Inhale, kick heel away. Exhale, toes back toward the face. Now, switch hands. Left hand grabs the strap. Leg descends across your body, so it's coming now toward the opposite shoulder. But once it gets there, I'm going to outward spiral my leg, so now my toes are headed back toward the same shoulder. So leg descends toward opposite, toes spin open toward same. You can even use your right hand here to really uh, encourage that leg to internally rotate all the way up to the thigh. Inhale, press heel down toward mat. Exhale, relax, pull toes back toward face and outward spiral your leg. Inhale, heel down, exhale, spin open and relax. One more time, inhale and exhale. Bend your knee and let your right leg display out to the side along the floor. Now I'm going to straighten my leg here and I'm going to come to a point of comfortable resistance with the pinky edge side of my foot grazing the floor. Once I've found that point of comfortable resistance, I'm going to inhale and scissor my right leg toward my left, activating my adductors and my internal hamstrings, the semimembranosus and semitendinosus. And exhale, relax, pull toes back toward face. Inhale, scissor that right leg closed. Exhale, a little bit further. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Now bend your right knee. Let your right foot come across your body toward the opposite shoulder as your right knee actually spirals outward toward the same side shoulder. Push your knee away from you as you pull your foot towards you. Now my strap is on the pinky edge side of my foot so I can really pull the whole foot toward the left shoulder. I'm gonna do a few circles here, using, um, uh, moving my whole leg like a unit until I find a place of uh, sensitivity where it doesn't feel like it really wants to, to move any further, um, but not a place that feels like it's bone on bone or shouldn't move further, just an area where you'd like a, a more intensified stretch. So I found it right here for me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push the top of my foot up toward the ceiling, activating my outer hip now. And on the exhale, I'm going to relax my leg, pull my foot toward the opposite shoulder as I press my knee away from myself. Oh, nice. Give it a few circles here. Inhale, press top of foot toward ceiling. Exhale, relax a little bit deeper. Maybe give it a few little circles of movement. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Now let that knee descend so far over toward the left-hand side that you have to hoist yourself up onto your left hip. Bend your knee, hold the strap with your left hand, right hand extends out like a wing, palm up to the sky. Inhale, press your foot into the strap, straightening your leg, and exhale, bend the knee, and relax into the twist. Inhale, kick out into the strap. And exhale, bend into the twist. One more time. Kick out. Exhale, relax. Slowly bring your leg back to center. Hoist your hips back to center as well. And we are going to take a moment just to notice the differences in our legs. Does one feel longer than the other? Does one feel like it has better blood flow, um, more energy, more lightness? Give it a couple shakes, and we're going to strap up the left leg. We'll get both legs the, the same length, so you won't be walking around in circles on one, one tall side. <laughs> All right, strap just below the toes. Hold with your left hand. We're going to inhale, kick heel down to the floor. And exhale, toes back toward face. Again, at your own pace, two more rounds of breath. Ask yourself, do you have a lumbar curve still? If not, readjust. One more time. And exhale. 
switch hands. Now your left foot is going to spin toward the left shoulder, even as it descends toward the right shoulder. So spin those toes back toward the left. Use your left hand to outward spiral your upper thigh. Inhale, kick heel to floor. Exhale, relax. Pull those toes back toward the shoulder. Inhale, kick it away. Exhale, relax. One more nice long inhale. Exhale. Bend your knee. Extend your leg out toward the left. Straighten your leg to a point of comfortable resistance with the pinky edge side of your toes grazing the floor. Inhale, scissor your left leg to your right. Exhale, pull that strap back. Let the toes ascend toward your face. Notice, is your right hip Coming up off of the mat, if it is, ground it back down. Inhale, heel toward opposite leg. Exhale, relax. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Bend your knee again. Pull the strap to the pinky edge side of your foot. Pull the foot toward the opposite shoulder. Use your left hand to outward spiral your upper thigh so that now we are turning our shin up toward the ceiling, the side of our shin up toward the ceiling. And let's do some circles here, finding the sticky spots that we wanna hang out in. I found one here. Now press the side of your foot, top of your foot up toward the ceiling for three, two, one, and exhale, relax a little bit further into the stretch. Give yourself a couple arcs, circles, testing the new range, the new possible uh, uh, expansion of the stretch. Inhale, press side of foot up to, up to the ceiling. And exhale, relax. Let that left knee descend so far to the, left, to the right hand side that you hoist yourself up on your right hip. Change the strap to the ball mounds of the toes. Rest that left palm open toward the sky, out to the side. Inhale, kick into the strap. And exhale, relax that knee a little further down. Look over your left palm, deepen the stretch. Inhale, press your foot away. Exhale, spiral toward the left. Inhale, kick out through your toes. Exhale, unwind. Slowly return to center. Unstrap. Take a moment to notice, do both of your legs now feel energized? Do they feel like they have fresh blood flow, fresh movement, fresh capacity? Give them a couple shakes. All right, now we're going to do a, uh, an abdominal, an eccentric rectus abdominis stretch. So we are going to strap ourselves up um, with the double cinch. In fact, you can just go ahead and sit all the way up for this one. It's probably going to be a little bit easier. And now we want our strap to be a little less than hips width distance apart. Uh, when we, uh, we're going to put these around our thighs, and we want our thighs to be able to press to hips width distance. So we're going to make this just a little less than hips width distance so that we have something to press into and we have a, we have a place to go. I'm going to try this out and see if, if this works for me. I'm going to slide this around my thighs. Yes, this is perfect. So you want it to be about mid-thigh here. Now I'm going to rest all the way back and I'm going to bring my shin bones parallel to the ceiling in a kind of reverse tabletop here. And I'm going to recover my lumbar curve by tilting my tailbone down toward the mat. Now I've got a nice lumbar curve here. Now you can start uh, feeling your hip flexors and your abdominals fire just by putting your, the heels of your hands up here at your knees and dig dragging your knees into your hands. You'll feel all of this fire. Great. Now plant your hands down to either side like a T. And we're going to slowly touch our toes down toward the floor even as we spread our knees east to west against the strap. This is an eccentric abdominal stretch. And come all the way back up. To center. Now we're going to link breath to that. So inhale for a count of five, four, three, 
two, one, touch your toes, and exhale for one, two, three, four, five. Again, inhaling all the way down, and exhaling all the way back up. The fulcrum of the stretch is my tailbone itself. It's allowing me to balance as I touch my toes down and it's keeping its integrity, its contact with the floor as my lumbar spine remains lifted all the way back up. Really nice. All right, now you're gonna drop your knees all the way over to the right hand side, keeping the spread out with the knees east to west, rocking over to that right hip. We're going to do that for five counts. Come all the way back up, nice and slow. Now let's descend to the left. Let's count it out. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. And exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Let's do that now at your own pace. Slowly dropping all the way over to the right, linking it with breath and all the way back to center. All the way to the left. Keep spreading out through your knees and all the way back to center. Now this time, we're gonna arc all the way over to the right. We're gonna pull our knees up toward our shoulders and then we're going to extend those feet nice and long. Ugh, and now bend, come all the way back to center. One more time toward the left, inhaling on our way down, stretch those legs out long, exhaling on the way back in. Really nice. All right, now we're going to uh, do a, a stretch that many of you already know from yoga classes called wishbone. And we're gonna turn so that we're resting face down for this one. So now, rest your right arm out like a wing. And it can be at a 90 degree angle if you'd like to stretch pec major, or a 45 degree angle if you'd like to stretch pec minor. I'm gonna pull mine up to a 45 degree angle toward the right uh, corner of my mat. Now roll over toward the left side of your mat. Plant your left foot behind you. Now put your right hand in front of you. On your inhale, you're going to press your right hand down into the mat, into the floor, activating your pectoral. And on the exhale, you're going to push yourself away from you with your left hand, spiraling open. Inhale, press the floor away on the right. Exhale, press the floor away on the left. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Let's do the same on the other side. Roll back to your belly. Left arm extends out like a wing at a, a 90 degree angle or a 45 degree angle, whatever feels like it's giving you the best stretch. Roll over your body with your right foot back behind you, planted on the ground, right hand in front of you, firm and stable. Inhale, press the floor away from you with your left hand. Exhale, press the floor away from you with your right hand. Again, like you're a, a human teeter-totter, each time teetering to a, a further stretch. Inhale, press the ground away with the left. Exhale, press away with the right. One more time for good measure. Inhale. And exhale. All right. Turn back to your bellies. Now we're going to use our balls. So you can grab your lacrosse ball. If you don't have one of these at home, tennis ball works just fine. So now I'm going to put my block on the mat, long ways. I'm going to rest my right cheek over the block. And rest your right shoulder just right down on the ground in front of it. Kind of cozy up with it. And now you're going to put your, block, your ball right in between the block and your masseter, which is a, the broad muscle of your lower jaw. And you want to give yourself a couple circles here and just start to feel for areas of density or sensitivity. Hold the ball with your bottom hand. Now your top hand is going to come over your head and your fingers are going to connect with your temple so that you can actually hold the full weight of your head with your hand, like you're a puppet. Uh, this allows you to totally relax your head and your neck and to use your arm to, to do all of the motions of your head. So now your bottom hand is going to start finding for those areas of density with the ball. 
top hand works to angle the head where it needs to be. Once you've found it, give that masseter a little contraction by clenching your teeth just ever so gently. You should feel it fire. And on the exhale, relax, let it open. Inhale, contract. Exhale, relax and reposition that ball. You should not feel your jaw moving laterally here. If the ball is pressing so much that your jaw begins to move sideways, that's a little, little too much gusto. Just find those, those tender spots, those dense spots, hang out there, give a little clench and a little, little relax, a little release. Now, move the ball up to your temporalis, which is the muscle just above your cheekbone. It comes all the way back to your hairline, so really find a, a good, broad place in the temporalis that feels good. Now, open your jaws wide. You should feel it fire here, too. And exhale, relax. Inhale, open jaws wide. Exhale, relax. This is great for people who have TMJ. Inhale. And exhale. Great. We're going to move to the other side. You can just roll over to your left. I'm going to actually move down on my mat so that you can see me a little bit better. Rest with your shoulder on the ground. Jaw over the block. Get cozy with your block. And then put your ball underneath your jaw. Right hand goes over your head to hold your, your head above the ear. Find a good juicy spot in the masseter. Give a gentle clench. And relax. And clench, inhale. Exhale, relax. A few circles here. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Move the ball up to temporalis, just above the cheekbone. I like to find um, stuff right along the hairline, close to my ear even. Get really close to that ear. Ooh, that feels so good. Inhale, open your jaws wide. Exhale, relax. If you don't feel the muscle fire when you open your jaws wide, reposition the ball and relax. One last time. And relax. Really nice. Now we're going to put our block and our ball aside. Check in, put your ball somewhere where it can't roll away. And we're going to do a King Falcon stretch now. So unstrap your, or uncinch your strap. And you're going to wrap it around your right foot around the top of your foot. And then we're going to bring the, our shin to the short edge side of our mat and extend our right leg long behind us, like so. Uh, many people will recognize this as a pigeon pose. We're gonna do pigeon pose a little bit differently. We're actually gonna do a falcon pose. So instead of dropping our hips all the way to the mat, we're actually gonna lift our hips up, pressing the earth away from us with our shin and dig dragging our right knee forward so that we're activating those hip flexors. Now, once you have this stability, this lift, pull your right foot towards your shoulder with the strap. Inhale, kick your foot away from you into the strap. And exhale, sink a little bit further toward the ground, pulling that foot back towards your shoulder. You can even use your left hand to externally rotate your left thigh here. Inhale, press into the strap. Exhale, soften the groin. Pull that foot a little closer. Inhale, push it away, and exhale, relax. Great. Let's do that on the other side. Take a moment to wrap up the left foot. Extend your right shin toward the short edge side of the mat. Extend your left leg long behind you. Bend at the left knee. Don't get tangled up in your strap. <laughs> Bend at the left knee. And now press yourself up into a falcon using your shin and your knee to push yourself away from the mat. Inhale, kick foot into the strap for three, two, one, and relax, soften your groin, bring that foot a little closer to the shoulder. One more time, inhale, kick it away. Exhale, relax. One more time, inhale, and 
exhale. Good. Now you can put your strap aside. We're gonna set up for frog pose, uh, which is my favorite pose. Um, it is not many other people's favorites, but I love this one. It's such a great groin opener. Uh, we're going to fold our mat up so I, we have a little more cushion for the insides of our knees. If this isn't enough cushion for you, you can use a stack of yoga blankets on either side too. So now I'm gonna put the inseam of my knees over the, the double side of the mat, and I'm going to extend my shins back behind me so that my knees are at a right angle, a 90 degree angle, and so are my ankles. So now I can begin to lean forward onto my elbows. And I find a place here, um, that feels like a point of comfortable resistance. I'm going to inhale and scissor my legs together, pressing my knees down into the mat toward each other, activating my adductors. And on the exhale, I'm gonna let myself slide and soften to the next available barrier. Inhale, press the earth away with your knees, squeeze them together, activate. And exhale, relax that groin all the way down. You can give yourself a few pulses here just testing the new limit of your range of motion. Inhale, scissor the knees closed. Exhale, soften all the way down. Really nice. Sit all the way up. Plant your knees in the middle of the mat again. Now we're gonna do a forward fold. So grab your strap and your block again. We're gonna face the short edge side of the mat. We're gonna put the block at our feet. Then you're going to strap the block. Bend your knees a little bit here. On the inhale, you're going to dig drag your heels into the mat, activating the backs of your legs, asking your hamstrings to fire. And on the exhale, you're going to straighten your legs and kick out through your heels as you bend yourself a little bit further toward the block. Inhale, dig drag those heels. Exhale, pull yourself forward, keeping your heart high here. Inhale one more time, dig drag. Exhale, pull your heart forward. All right, now we're gonna do the calves. So you're going to hold your block with the strap, but this time you're going to press your toes into the block like you're pressing on a gas pedal. You'll even see the block come up on its corner edge side here. And on the exhale, you let, allow the strap to pull your toes back towards your face, even lifting the block up off of the mat. Oh, this is a great calf stretch. Inhale, press it away. Exhale, pull it back. Keep your heart lifted, keep your lumbar curve. Inhale, press it away. And exhale, pull it all the way back. Put your strap aside, and we're going to finish with an assimilation pose that uses the block itself. So we're going to put the block right in between our shoulders here, and you can rest all the way back on the block with the block in between the shoulder blades. I'm going to put mine long ways, but you can play with it and just find the, the support that you need. If this is too much on your neck, you can put a second block underneath your head here, but I'm aiming for the core quarters of the block in between my shoulder blades, and I'm gonna rest my arms overhead, uh, giving myself some thoracic extension and breathing right back into that block. I might make some angel wings out to the side, really finding the area of the stretch that needs most time. Whenever I find it, I, I pause there, breathe right back into the pressure of the block. We're gonna do this for three rounds of breath together. When you're ready, roll over to your right hand side, resting your head on your right arm for just a moment before pushing yourself up with your left hand and let's all come to a seat together. Let's take a deep breath together now, inhale and exhale. 
Thank you so much for joining our floor and strap stretch class today. I look forward to seeing you during our next session. Thank you.